On this day, the church celebrates the commemoration of the departure of the nun St. Marin. She was the daughter of a very rich Christian man. Her name was Miriam, and her mother died when she was a little girl. Her father brought her up well. Then her father wanted to get her married for his desire to become a monk. But she told him, Oh my father, why would you save your own soul and destroy mine? He answered saying, What shall I do? You're a woman. She rose up immediately, shaved off her hair, and put on the garb of a man. When her father saw her strong determination, he gave all his possessions to the poor, and he called her Marin instead of Miriam. Then he went to the monasteries and lived with his daughter in the same cell for ten years. When he died, St. Marin kept on fasting and praying as she increased in her asceticism. No one knew that she was a woman, and they thought that her soft voice was for asceticism and prayers. One day, the abbot of the monastery sent her with three other monks to the city for a certain business to the monastery, and they lodged in an inn. At the same night, one of the king's soldiers lodged in that inn, and he saw the daughter of the owner of the inn, and he defiled her virginity. He instructed the daughter to tell her father that the young monk, Father Marin, is the one who did so to her. When her father knew that, he became angry. He went to the monastery and began to curse and insult the monks. Then the abbot called St. Mary and asked her if what this man said is true or not. When she heard that, she wept and bowed down and said, I am young, I have sinned, forgive me, O my father. The abbot was furious with her and sent her out of the monastery. She dwelt outside of the monastery for a long time. The monks felt pity upon her and asked the abbot to readmit her. The abbot consented to their request and readmitted her to the monastery after he had laid heavy penalties and severe rules upon the saint. She performed very hard labors such as cooking, cleaning, and watering, as well as her regular monastic duty. When the child grew, he became a monk. After St. Marin had completed 40 years, she fell ill for three days and finally she departed on the 15th of Mizra. The abbot ordered to take off her old ragged clothes and dressed her with new ones prior to carry her to the place of praying in order to bury her after them. When they removed her clothing and found out that she was a woman, they all shouted out saying, God have mercy! They informed the abbot who came, marveled, and wept because of what he had done to her. After she was buried, the innkeeper's daughter and the soldier, her friend, went to the place where the saint was buried and both confessed with their iniquity in front of everyone. God manifested innumerable miracles through her blessed body. May her prayers be upon us all. Amen.